All right, guys, I'm with Mimi. Wait, you gotta put your mask down real quick. Peekaboo, motherfucker, how you doing? <laughs> we just finished eating crab, so make sure you go to her channel and watch it. I'm gonna put her channel in the description box so you can watch all the stuff she made me eat. She taught me how to eat crawfish. <laughs> I fed you crawfish. She fed me <laughs> crawfish. She fed me shrimp. She's such a mom, but now we're at the... Dalai Lama! The Dalai Lama. Ah. I've never been here. Have you been here? I've been here once. We did go on a day here last week because it's an ice cream lover. <laughs> So they got good, 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 good waffles. They have waffles okay. and you pick. So let's go look at the selection. Okay. Oh wow, look at this cup. Oh, oh wow, your cup is bomb. <laughs> I love waffles and ice cream. I just know that I'm so full and I'm gonna eat that. Thank you. Ooh, it's so good. Um, I heard you like waffles. I do. I love waffles. I don't know what the hell is in that blue ice cream. It's a cookie monster. That's what I have in here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just Oreo and cookie dough. Mmm. Mmm. Try that waffle. I just blew this off the sack. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. So, um, I know y'all know Mimi from a lot of things. <laughs> Mimi is the jack of all trades. You know what? I really am. Honey, I cook, I clean, I funny, <laughs> I hee hee ha ha. Loving hip hop, wilding out. <laughs> I am cook, family woman. And I think that does bring our connection with you know now mm -hmm. that you have a baby I know. and I have two and being on reality shows um we have so much in common I think it keeps us and we're from the same city mm -hmm. and it keeps you grounded like being a mother and being in in like reality it keeps us grounded it keeps you humble it keeps you appreciating the things that are not so much you know things are yeah. a lot reality TV is a lot I don't know um, we talked about it a little bit on your channel, but I didn't like it. You didn't like it. It's a evil, evil world. Y'all, Mimi's been feeding me all night. <laughs> I love feeding people. <laughs> if you watch the video on her channel, <laughs> she's making sure I'm eating. She's like, mm -mm, eat some more. Not <laughs> eating enough. If I want to gain some weight. What'd you say? You want a BBL? Here you go. <laughs> I need to gain 20 pounds so I can get my hip dips filled. Mimi gonna be the one to make me do it. Y'all, why, why, why I was typing, I was trying to type BBG, Bad Girls Club, and I'm over here typing BBC, Big Black Cock. <laughs> we know where my mind was at. <laughs> All in the gutter. That's why she got two black kids. <laughs> Honey, when you go black, you never go back. That's when we started talking about dating. Y'all. Seven needs a show called Seven Minutes in Heaven and Find Her an Angel. Yeah, Mimi wants to find me a man. She wants me to do a dating show and she is going to be my right hand man on a dating show. So comment blue hearts below if y'all want Seven to do a dating show. Oh, they need to get out here. <laughs> I don't know who the hell I think I'm talking to because I'm scared of dating. <laughs> but how did you finally move on from like your baby daddy? I got some new dick and it was hard even finding new dick. <laughs> That's the hardest part. But they're gonna come and you'll be fine. You gotta be strong. Do you know who my baby daddy is? <sighs> Everybody scared of him. <laughs> 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 so I feel like nobody likes me because of my baby daddy. He gotta be understanding one day. <laughs> I can't just keep me trapped. Gotta do stuff on my own. I, I think if he could, he would. Right. All right. I don't know who I'm gonna move on to. It'll have to be somebody that he can't get to. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave this country. Just leave and go. Yeah, bye bye. Mm -hmm. No. But they're mature. I have two baby daddies, so. Mm -hmm. They mature. Give it a year after a breakup. Like I, Cause I almost didn't talk to Deuce's dad for almost a, over a year. Cause you need the time to separate. You need the time to heal and you need the time to appreciate each other and just learn how to balance a relationship of a being a baby mom and baby dad and mm -hmm. you got to set boundaries you know what it is okay and what's not okay you know because when we're not together 
you know we have a child together and there's no conversation that we needed to talk you don't need to worry about who I'm dating I don't need to worry about who you're dating what's your financial issues because we're no longer together our only concern is our child and a conversation should only be about the child you know so just learning to set boundaries with it you know and it's, everything is not about what you say it's how you say it so learning how to communicate without anger is the hardest thing but it takes about a year to get over that part and mm -hmm. actually have an adult conversation and it should only be about the child you're still fresh right still fresh, still fresh. not time. even we're not even like a month out oh yeah it's fresh yeah you need a whole year and a year go by in a blink of an eye because look covid been a damn year already eat some ice cream Mm. Oh, yeah, you're my ice cream. Mm, Mimi gonna make sure. You know what? Brownie. I'm going to Mimi house. I don't like brownies. I don't like strawberry. chocolate. Mimi gonna make sure I gain weight, y'all. She's a freak. She likes strawberries. <laughs> she went for the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I love fruit. I love fruit mm. too. Oh, that reminds me. I need to hit up this guy. Um, <clears throat> he gonna send me all these exotic fruits. I think he's like Ooh, to do the in fruit the, travel. the exotic mm -hmm. fruit challenge. Damn. Well, I, you know, I eat that on a regular I basis. I somewhat did it. I saw I just you had a like, dragon fruit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I eat that on a regular basis, but he has like... Yeah. Even more exotic fresh, than that. Fresh, more. Mm-hmm. There's a fruit that looks like chocolate on the inside. I said it's just like chocolate pudding on the inside. Ew. I hate chocolate. I'm not a fan of chocolate either. Yeah, I'm not a big chocolate person. And I eat like all white chocolate and stuff. If I eat chocolate, I need nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not to be like Hershey with almonds yeah, or mm, I love almonds. Oh, turtles. Mm. Those are Ferrero good. Forever Rochers. Like oh, I love Ferrero. Oh, I went to um, <sighs> China Republic. It was a restaurant and they had a Ferrero Rocher ice cream. Oh, that probably was good as fuck. That was so good. Mm. I think the Cookie Monster is something out here. Like, I always see it out here. Yeah. I don't remember having blue ice cream in D.C. <laughs> I never had blue ice cream in D.C. for sure. Oh, I'm getting full. I told you that's why I took off my belt. Me. You took it off. Why would you keep it up? <laughs> I have like walk seven. Walk. I back here just letting it out, letting it loose. <laughs> I, think it, I think it was the seasoning. The seasoning was harsh. Bro, I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> I didn't know how to get out of my belt. I'm letting these jeans. I was like walk faster. Just go in front of me. I'm letting some things loose back here. <laughs> she definitely. She'll say it. So how how's your um your 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 um your YouTubers? How are they? They're younger. What are your fan base? I think they're a younger crowd, so they really want to see you know the way they were introduced to me. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing about my channel is my fans are somebody else's fans, so they're on my channel for specific things like pranks and stuff and. Because I'm older, I feel like, you know, that's not really not what I want to do. You're not even fucking old. Oh, but I'm not like, you know, I don't If you're wanna... old, I'm ancient. Kids make you feel old. They make you feel old. Like, they literally make you feel like life is, you know, you got to be so serious. But they want to see pranks a lot. And, you know, I don't want to always do that. It's cool every now and then. But I'm not good at it, you know, the person who... It takes a lot of planning. It takes a lot of planning. Oh, my God. Like, you really have to plan it. Damn, I should have pranked you. I should have left your ass out here. <laughs> <laughs> Took seven to the ice cream shop. Hey, go, and seven, go ahead, go to the dollar. I'll, I'll be right. I'm on the phone. I'll be right back. This bitch don't even know I left it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been mad as hell. <laughs> like, uh -uh. Oh, but all you gotta say when you're mad, it's a prank. It's a prank. <laughs> all right, you do something so absurd, and then you gotta be like, oh, it's, it's a, a prank. prank. It's a prank. You know who did a good ass prank that got me? Hitman. Who's that? Uh, he's on Wild Out with me. He's a battle rapper, and he had like prank cheating on his girlfriend. Mm. And it was all, it made it to the shade room and really? everything. Like she really thought it was real, and she shut off her phone. Yeah. And it was a fucking prank. I would have been I so pranked, I did mad. like a hickey prank on my baby daddy, and he's so like he lost it. Quiet. No, he's one of those like did he lose it? my baby daddy's one of those people like you don't notice that he's there until you're dead type of people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what about Simon Assa Assassin? Yeah, he's like. <laughs> I He's so scary. <laughs> My baby daddy is really scary. I would be scared for anybody that I moved on with. I would be like, um, oh, this water run. Is better than last time. <laughs> it was really warm. Mm -hmm. So I did the hickey prank, and all he just looked at me and said, "Do you want to die?" And I'm like. My whole life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way. <laughs> it's a prank. It's a prank. Hmm. And he laughed. No, he still didn't find it funny afterwards. Even like a little while afterwards, he still was like, "Dude, why so serious?" You shouldn't. Don't don't play like that. I'm like, okay. 
Dude, why so serious? This mm. is a prank. I think you need somebody on your level of balance, you know. YouTube life is a lot different. And <laughs> then, my home to participate, you have personality, you know. Stop dating the killers. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> Mimi's gonna be my therapist, y'all. She's gonna give me weekly therapy sessions. Hey, girl. Are you keeping up with yourself? I think I'm a great friend. Oh, You're oh, Taurus. You're Earth, Earth sign. We're just great people, yeah. naturally. I like having friends. I like. I've always been a motherly person. Like even mm -hmm. with your friend Chris. Mm -hmm. Um, I was only like 18 then, but I was still really motherly. Mm -hmm. I like to cook for people. I like to feed them. Guys, she knows Brooke's boyfriend. He used to talk about her to me and how he knew her. And we worked at Fridays together. My only <laughs> other real job I ever had in my life. Which I, I think got fired his only two... other real job he ever had in his life. <laughs> which I got fired in two days. Mm -hmm. I mean, two two months. Yep. Ah, mm -hmm. It's a small world. A very small world, but we just went to the Dalai Lama for first for the first time. So if you have Ooh. a Dalai Lama, try it because it's good as hell. I don't know what this blue ice cream is, but it tastes good to me. So yummy! Y'all mm. need to try it out because I just fucking crushed it with my left nail. <laughs> Let me know if y'all want to see more videos with Mimi. She just moved to California and I'm and leaving California, leaving. But, but I'll be here because you know we I'm got coming. the whole custody thing and and I'm coming to visit. I'll be in Miami, and you so can come we can stay link with me. and um. Don't prank me. <laughs> Unless they Y'all gotta give me a prank for Mimi, y'all. Before I leave LA, give me something to prank Mimi with, but she can't see it coming, so don't put it in the comments, put it in my DMs. I am the okay. loudest, uh, scariest thug in the world. <laughs> yeah, the I other, believe you. I always catch people when they're sleeping, right? So the other day my boyfriend was asleep. So I went on Snapchat and I started recording him sleeping, but there was a filter on it that blocked his face. I was like, oh shit. So as I'm driving, I took the I took it off. And then I took the filter off and I went back to record. Oh. And I, he was I thought, up. he was up, he was like this. <laughs> Eyes wide open, I was like, and I was like, ah, ah, ah. That's how my baby daddy is like creepy, like, <laughs> pierces through your soul. But make sure you guys go watch the video on Mimi's channel and go see everything she had me eating tonight. She took me Woo! to get ice cream, she took me to get crabs. We had a good date. Yes. We had a good girl. Good day. first date. This was a yes, good first date. Good first yes. date. You see a sugar powder in my <laughs> Until next time, guys.